Well, this weekend, a new exhibit in the East Bay reintroduces us to NASA's accomplishments in outer space. Today in the Bay's Bob Burdell joining us live from the Chabot Space and Science Center in Oakland with a sneak peek. Yeah, good morning to Marcus and Chris. You know, NASA Ames and Mountain View, the, the research center did have a visitor center at one point. That shut down a number of years ago. Well, they're reopening it uh, here at the Chabot Space and Science Center in conjunction with the Space and Science Center here in the hills above Oakland. We've got Ben Burris. He's not only uh, an astronomer here, but he's one of the guys who helps put together these type of exhibits. Good to see you again, Ben. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, what are we looking at right here? Uh, this is called ADEPT. Right. Uh, it is a concept collapsible heat shield for a spacecraft. All right. The idea is if a spacecraft has to take more than one heat shield, it can fold this one up and pack it along and then deploy it when they need it. And NASA Ames, I'm assuming, developed this technology. And they, did they test it in their wind tunnel? Yes. This is a wind tunnel model for testing the aerodynamics of the, the prototype. I think anyone who's driven along 101 has seen these large what you know buildings that are housing these wind tunnels. Uh, do they still have wooden fan blades in there? They do. Really? Yeah, actually there's a picture here of like six giant fans. Each one has 15 of these giant wooden wow. blades to produce uh, two and three hundred mile an hour winds in their cavernous wind tunnel. And, yeah. and that'd be used for testing not only aircraft, but the, is the Orion spacecraft, which is currently... Right. Rocket being... models. Okay. Uh, it, real aircraft can go in there. Uh, parachutes for landing on Mars. Yeah, all sorts see of things. how big these things are. Yeah. Okay. If we walk over here, I didn't know that we were going to be sending another rover to Mars. I knew we were sending people, but there is a rover that's going up, and this is a mock-up of it, correct? Yeah, this is Viper going I'm to... I'm sorry, I said the moon, yeah, the moon. Right. Sorry. Yeah. So Viper is going to the south pole of the moon ahead of the Artemis astronauts who will right. land there in, you know, in the next few years. It's looking for water. Uh, okay. We've already detected water ice and other volatile materials. Yeah. And this the, will uh, drill? It has a drill. It will right. drive around, go into the shadows. God, There's okay. permanent shadows in the floors of craters on the pole, which allows ice to develop over thousands of years. Okay. So they're going to go see what the nature of that water is. You know, and, and quickly, if like 30 seconds, I wanted to show this. Uh, these are robots that uh, float in the International Space Center, a space station, and they have uh, propulsion, correct? Yeah. So the blue one here, Astro, the light blue one, Astro B. Uh, moves around with little fans, oh, no so it, but it, the idea is the concept is they are developing robotic helpers for astronauts and to do tasks on right. spacecraft. And have these worked? Yeah, yeah, they've yeah. been very successful. Okay, uh, testing artificial intelligence, giving uh, them tasks to do. And, All right. uh, yeah. Hey, thanks, Ben. Right. NASA Fest uh, this weekend here at the Chabot Space and uh, Science Center in the hills over Oakland. Uh, I've been coming to this place for years to do reports. If you haven't been up here, it's actually uh, very fascinating. If you love science, you love space, and then that sort of thing. Marcus, Chris.